everyone, I'm Lorraine Driscoll and this is another episode of Building Better Brains. So last week I talked about how 80% of your child's learning happens through the visual system, the visual memory in their brain. And I know I, I promised that this week I was going to give you some tips, my top tips on what you can do if your child has a weak visual memory and visual system and how you can strengthen that area of the brain at home. So the best part about these exercises is that kids absolutely love them. Don't tell them what it's for. Tell them you just want to play more games with them and they will absolutely eat it up. So number one is observe and recall. So have your child study a photograph, a detailed object or a room. Give them a few moments and ask them to, to close their eyes and to describe the room in as much detail as possible. Now, if your child is older and you are trying to get them to buy into this activity and they're saying it's totally lame, allow them to take some Instagram pictures um, and then to study the picture and then test the recall in the same way by having them tell you what they saw in as much detail as they can muster. So number two is show them a photo or object for a few moments and then have them draw it in as much detail as possible. So once they are, are better at this, you can ask them to do the same activity, except now they have to describe it verbally instead of drawing it. So this challenges the visual cortex further and makes them also simultaneously use the language center of their brain while they are visualizing. So if you think, um, the next one is, if you think that word jumbles were just something that your teacher did in class to kill time, think again. Word jumbles are another great way to challenge and improve the visual memory and visual processing in the brain. And it's a great thing or activity you can do with children who struggle with visual dyslexia. Um, other games that have the same effect are card games that involve matching and memory, like Crazy Eight, Memory, Bingo, um, Pairs, Uno, Go Fish, Snaps, all those get games we played. And so once you notice that your child's visual memory is getting stronger, challenge it further with games like I Spy, as well as What's Missing. So if you're not familiar with the game What's Missing, that involves placing several items on a tray and telling your child to look at the tray for a few moments to remember what is on the tray. Then you hide what's on the tray and you ask them to tell you what was on the tray. So to make it even more challenging once they get better at that, decrease the amount of time they have to remember and what's on the tray and add more items on it or arrange the items in sequence. This gets, this is where it gets really tricky and have them repeat back what they saw in the same sequence that you had laid it out. Another great way to improve visual memory is just simply through visualization exercises, meditation CDs and so forth. So mindfulness has become immensely popular in mainstream culture as well as in schools because it has been shown to not only reduce stress levels, but to increase attention and focus as well as processing and memory. So visualization exercises can be equally helpful with stress and can help to make serious gains with visual memory. So you can buy these online on Amazon or anywhere else. And there is also a ton of free visualization activities for children on YouTube. So you really don't have to spend a cent. So if you want the official list of exercises that I just described, hop onto my website. The exercises are all listed in my article um, in the blog section on improving visual memory and visual processing. Mm -hmm. um, and if you wanna know more about how you can help your child, what could be going wrong, then um, just hop onto my website and take my quiz. So thanks for listening and have a great day.